So our next topic is UiPath input dialog box. What is input dialog box? How to use it? How to use a if condition? And how do you create variables? And how to use that? We are going to see. Okay. For this, we will use a use case. What is the use case? The use case is that you should provide the user two different option, Google and YouTube. Let's say it is going to show Google and YouTube as two different options. And if user is selecting any of this, it should open the browser. Okay, it should open the browser. So how this can be done? Let's see it, and you will understand all these three points. Let's see it. Now the very first thing I should need an activity called input dialog box. So type input and drag and drop the input dialog box activity. Here let's give a title. So all you do within double quotes you have to write the title. So I will say. user selection window okay and here i'll give a instruction to the user in the label enter your or make a choice make a choice from the below options okay and here i need a multiple choice so what i will do i'll create a you have seen the multiple choice questions right how it will appear so it will appear uh, it will show him google and youtube If he's selecting Google, it should open Google web page. If he's selecting YouTube, it should open the web YouTube web page. To do that, all I need is a double quote, and in the double quote, I will simply write Google, and I'll separate it by semicolon. Okay, and then I am going to write YouTube. Getting it? How I have written? Let me show you in a slightly bigger window. Okay, so this is how. So if you need more options, you can simply put a semicolon and keep on writing. Okay, that can be done. So here we will just stick to two options. And now, whatever the selection he is made making, he could select Google or he could select YouTube. Based on his selection, it should get stored in a variable. So I am going to create a variable, and I will say user choice. So to create a variable, there are two different options. Okay. one is either you right click and create a variable or you can also use a control k and also in the property panel of the activity also you can go ahead and create it okay here also you can come and create it so doesn't matter wherever you create once you have created the variable you should always go to the variable panel to see what kind of a data type got assigned so it's a string data type let's say you would like to deal with integer boolean or any other thing you have the option to select from variety of ranges of variable types okay and what is this sequence is all about so every activity if you see it is encapsulated within a sequence so within that if i am going to drag another activity let's say i need the next activity is a if activity okay so what happens this if activity got encapsulated within the sequence so it is recommended in ui path so every time there is a sequence like this you should give it a name okay so here we are doing browser automation so i am going to say browser automation okay so now the variable which got created this variable can only be used within this so that is that can be controlled where that should be used by the scope okay so here because we have only one sequence so i am selecting so this variable can be used within this browser automation scope that means within this you can use it okay any activity within this sequence can utilize this variable now here the next activity that i have used is if so i will say use a choice equals to if it is google so there are two options google so i am going to say if it is google and ensure your spelling is accurate okay google okay so if it is google then what you do it should open google for that the activity you should use is use application browser so drag and drop this activity within this okay within the if condition okay now here what you do keep the google.com open and the youtube.com also open on your browser go back to the uipa studio click on indicate application application to automate and you should i am selecting the google.com and click anywhere the moment you click it will automatically take the url www.google.com okay now if the user is selecting anything else so there has to be else right so here you have to click on else and here the in the else i need again the same activity use application in browser drag and drop go back to your browser and keep that youtube.com open 
so this is my channel now click on indicate application to automate and I'm going to select the YouTube page okay so it is automatically taking things now one more important thing you should do is go to the property and here there is something called close I don't like to close it automatically so I will leave, leave it never close okay the same thing I will do it for this activity as well I'll go to the property panel highlight and go to the property panel and here I am selecting never so my automation is now ready okay never yeah so my automation is ready now let's run it and see how this one is going to function before that please close your browser and start from the beginning so I am going to hit on run so the automation has started and here it is saying make a choice from the below options okay all this we have written so it is giving a choice and let's say I am going to select YouTube okay click on okay so what would happen based on my choice it should open that page so you can see it is opening youtube.com so finally the youtube page has loaded let's try to select google.com and see it let's rerun this and before that let me close the browser and rerun it so this time i am going to select google and hit on ok now you can see google.com page has opened for me so this is the browser automation and we have covered all these topics uipath input dialog if condition and variables in a basic manner which would help you to start your learning journey so let's move on to our next topic